South Africa is observing seven days of mourning for one of the matriarchs of our democracy, Dr. Freni Jinwala. And flags are flying at half-mast to honor the iconic figure who wore so many hats as a feminist, freedom fighter, journalist and a social justice activist. Her colleagues say she made an invaluable contribution, not just in South Africa. I remember you preparing for Mualimu Nyerere's funeral, telling me that in your culture you wear white when someone has passed. I'm wearing it today, Frini, because of what you told me when Mualimu left us. We do remember her as a true giant of our struggle. But I also want to remember two, four more, two more things. One was her internationalism. And when we recount her internationalism, let us commit ourselves and recommit ourselves to intensifying the international solidarity with the embattled people of Palestine in their struggle to defeat Israeli colonialism. There were also light moments as mourners reminisced about the late activist. The Saudians on our WhatsApp group, all of them, they kept writing, order, order, honorable member. That's how they, including young ones who don't know much about her, but they would see her on television saying order. So we will remember that about her. But we also try, as Saudi in our small way, to have these memorials for ourselves. So we are selfishly having this event because we want to just convey to the family our gratitude. Former MPs like ex-Deputy President Pumzilem Lambongugo, who went on to become a United Nations Women Head, also attended the service. She says they learnt a lot from the late former National Assembly Speaker and she was very principled. Her work ethic is unforgettable. It was because of her that I think all of us who worked with her at the time when she was our speaker never failed to deliver on the assignments we were given. It was both a pleasure and sometimes a challenge to be deployed with her because she set very high standard and she had no sympathy for low achievers. The late Dr. Chinuala has been described by her contemporaries, colleagues and also fellow party members as one of the most formidable internationalists to have ever lived in our soil. And her legacy will continue to shine. Kylie Kumalo, SABC News, Pretoria.